proliferation, migration, and survival of LECs. This video is a little more information. This is uh, our zebrafish facility. This is housed up to 15,000 fish. My south south, when I get into the room, I know everything by heart. Yeah, we definitely feel connection <coughs> with the fish. We start to care about them and study on them every day. And these fish, you can hand them around and look at them yourselves. As a model to study the genetics of cancer and genes that uh, might cause cancer in humans. And what that means is we're manipulating their genomes in order to make them have a cancer that is similar to one that is in a human patient. Their blood cells and their blood stem cells are similar to a human blood cell. We hope that they'll give us clues for um, how we can improve cancer therapy for patients in the future. The many advantages of using zebrafish as compared to mice, you know, the mice is a traditional cancer model. The embryos are transparent, so everything you can visualize, you can see on a microscope. This allows us to use um, different colored dyes, different colored proteins to visualize what's going on inside the fish without ever having to sacrifice the animal. Here you can actually see their uh, blood moving. In genetics, it's all about numbers. It's a numbers game. A zebrafish, when every pair of fish made, they produce 200 embryos a day. So we can collect thousands of eggs in a week. With mice, you get about five to eight pups, sometimes even less than that. Anytime you're doing something that requires a statistical analysis, Having a repeatable and consistent good outcome in a large number of zebrafish, then you are much more safe in placing your money in certain directions or your time, your, your research investment. When I look at the zebrafish, I see us working as a puzzle piece, you know, just another one in the great puzzle of, of the mystery of cancer. They have a backbone, brain, and spinal cord, as well as several other organs, including a heart, liver, and pancreas, kidneys, bones, and cartilage, which makes them much more similar to humans than you would have otherwise thought. Zebrafish embryos develop outside of the mother's body, and they are transparent throughout the first few days of life. This provides unparalleled opportunity for researchers to scrutinize the fine details of embryonic vertebrae development without first having to resort to of invasive procedures or killing the mother. Optimal lives that they remain healthy. Can we study how blood does? Alright. Alright guys, um, I got wind. The research for this is still ongoing, but in the future it's going to be used to help with things like um, muscular dystrophy, diabetes, um, and other muscle diseases. We were gonna do a dance, but yeah. Anyway, so these are more excited. This is a 